Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Florida vlog number two. I wanted to kick off the vlog here because we are about to go to my favorite place. I'm sure you guys can guess where it is. And I, I filmed you guys, like I filmed a little haul, I think it was last month and I showed the outfit that I was gonna wear and I'm wearing it. So maybe you guys can guess where it is. And if you can't, you'll find out in a second. So I just wanted to officially say welcome to this vlog. I'm so excited. We've been in the car for a little while and I so let's just <laughs> let's just get right into it. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a few days later since our trip to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm just making breakfast. I went a few days without filming because I was kind of feeling like, <laughs> I hate to admit it, I feel so stupid, but I was feeling like a bit down and out. I just wasn't sleeping very well and it was making me feel really, really grumpy and just like emotional. I also hate to blame it on this, but I'm like about to get my period, so it's not that I haven't been having a good time, it's just that I've been like trying to just regulate my emotions. And last night it was just like, oh my gosh, I was so not feeling well. I was just like lying in bed watching the new Love is Blinds, being like, what's wrong with me? But I finally slept better last night. And you know when you're really tired and then you finally have a good sleep, you wake up feeling like a brand new person. So I'm thankful for that. If you guys are watching this season of Love is Blind, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I feel like this season started out so strong and then for me, all of the fighting just like kind of gets annoying like my favorite part of the po of the show is when they're in the pods and they're like falling in love i actually don't i don't love all of the drama like i like a little bit of drama but like mostly i just want to see people be in love and i feel like we're not getting a bunch i feel like we're not getting a ton of that this season and my favorite couple is the couple that broke up i cannot remember their names for the life of me but like the ones that broke up and then we never see them again maybe it's good that i don't remember their names because <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not spoiling it for you guys, but those of you who are watching, you know who I'm talking about. I really liked them in the beginning, but obviously it wasn't working. So I've been having problems with my computer and JS is fixing it for me or trying to fix it. So I'm making some little breakfast for us. strawberries. I'm gonna go wash these just for fun. I know like love is blind by the time this video goes up might even be old news but I'm gonna tell you guys my couple predictions like of who like what happens at the altar and then we'll see if I'm right. So if you haven't watched yet then skip ahead because I'm gonna tell you like who the couples are but basically I do think that Johnny and Amy will get married. I think they're like a good couple. They just need to figure out their weird birth control issues. Well, not weird, but like he he needs to he needs to man up, I think is what's happening here. Um, but I think that can be solved and I think they will get married. I think Chelsea 
and Jimmy actually will get married. I didn't think they would, but like every time they have a conflict, they come back together. And they really made it seem like Chelsea and Trevor thing was gonna be a bigger deal. Or not Tre Chelsea and Trevor, the Jess and Trevor thing would be a bigger deal. But like it, when they ended up seeing each other, it's like not that big of a deal. So I, I actually think they will get married. Um, Laura and Jeremy, like there's no chance. There's just no chance. Okay, and then AD and Clay. I have a really hard time figuring it out. I think she will say yes. I'm not sure if he will say yes. Like, he is going to surprise me. I think sh she's too good for him. I really love AD. I think she's like, she's just like a star. She's like a beautiful, smart star. And I don't think he's like ready for her. I don't know. So I'm not sure about what's going to happen there. Anyway, those are my love is blind thoughts. I would love to hear yours because I love talking about this show. Okay, I don't wanna, you know, toot my own horn, but these yogurt bowls are really stacked. Oh, we need granola. It's not real granola, it's trail mix, but it'll do. Put some extra chocolate. There we go. In read only. Oh, just get together at, at this I point. Understand. Should I send a message or that my, it's never perfect? The reality of it is. Hi guys. So, little change of plans, change of scenery, change of itinerary. We're in a hotel in Miami. <laughs> Uh, I am like kind of shook right now. So basically Jean surprised me with like a mini vacation within a vacation. He had told me he was planning something, but I really didn't know what it was. And then he tricked me and told me we had a four or six hour drive. So he was like, go on your laptop, like do your work in the car. And then we're driving and I'm like, I'm like, we're going towards Miami. So I was like, hey, where, like, <laughs> where are we going? We end up in South Beach and he's like, we're here. And we pulled up in front of this hotel that we've walked past. We walked past it, I think last year while it was under construction or two years ago. Come, tell them what, tell them what you did. Well, I just booked a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't manspread. Close your legs. <laughs> uh, this is not working. Yeah, you booked this super cool hotel in South Beach. We've come here a few times, but we never like stayed the night because we don't like where his mom lives. It's not that far. No. Anyways, this is just such a cool surprise. I can't wait to show you guys the hotel because it's so cool. The concept is like 21 plus, I guess kind of like a party hotel, Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> which makes me laugh because it's really not us, but everything is like, I'll just show you. Pink and it's very Miami. Yeah, so it's like a compact room because they say like compact room, go out and explore. But like, look at the bed. It's so cute. Everything's pink and green. The lobby is like super eclectic. There's like a pool for lounging and they have like pool parties and stuff. Um, so we're going to go check out the pool. But like, look at this. When you walk in the lobby, I just can't wait to show you guys. And then the bathroom too is so cool. How do you turn on the lights? Just everything is like kind of vintage. It's like vintage meets modern. Very, very Miami. Would you call this art deco? Is this art deco? The color is definitely art, but I don't think, well, I mean, the style is too. I feel like these lamps are like art deco. Yeah, yeah, and the pink phone and like, it's very 70s. Yeah. So Jean planned a full itinerary for us mm -hmm. with an art deco tour of South Beach and then time by the pool, maybe time at the beach dinner at our favorite Italian restaurant. What a beautiful surprise. Yeah. Yeah. It should be fun. That's really, really nice. I'm, I'm so excited. I just, I feel like I'm not like, I'm not like sexy Miami right now. <laughs> like, but I could just stay in this, right? For the, for the tour. Well, so yeah, we're going on an Art Deco walk in an hour. So in an hour. we go to the pool, it's like, we have about 45 minutes. Okay, let's go see the pool. Because it's just 10 minutes away. And then I can the show you guys the lobby and then we'll go on the tour together. So, it's a good thing I brought my camera. I didn't know what was going on. 
but something's going on. And look, out the window, you can see the ocean down yonder. You see? Yeah. You see the ocean? Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, but it's enough. Okay, I'm doing my makeup because one thing about Miami is that... <laughs> you guys remember my, like, Sunday chat last year because last year when we came, we, like, spent a bit more time in Miami, like, in Midtown and everything, and all the girls were just, like, so beautiful. And I was, like, feeling like a rat about myself. Which we shouldn't compare and we shouldn't blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, all right, if we're going out on the town, even in the daytime in South Beach, I'm like, I'm going to put myself together just a touch more. I know that's like a toxic mentality, but I'm just being real, okay? I'm going to put on this flawless filter. I don't want to like actually do any form of like full face of makeup or whatever. Just... Just a mini confidence boost is what we're going for. Wow, Jean really, really tricked me. Like I, I really had no idea where we were going. I was like, is it Disneyland? Is it Harry Potter World? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, is it North, South, East, or West? East would mean we were going on a boat because you can't really go further east. West would mean driving like through the state towards like the west coast, I guess. North would be somewhere like Orlando, Disney World, whatever. Disney World would be crazy though, like... <laughs> I would need to be mentally prepared for that. And then South is just Miami or then you end up in Cuba. And he said not to bring my passport so I knew we weren't going to Cuba. This mascara, you guys, is... This new camera has a hard time focusing, I have to say. Lancome Hypnose, okay? Write it down, remember it. I've been using not this specific one, but like this mascara, um, like this, not this tube, but, but this specific mascara for years. It just does something to your lashes. It's so good. I remember I would buy it in university when like I definitely should not have been spending this much on mascara, and but I would just make it last, last, last. like way beyond like hygiene recommendations because it just it just does something for your lashes it like opens your eyes right up while still looking ish natural it's just the best okay that's all good the hair it is what it is want one look how cool the keys are Yeah, it's so cool. Everything is just so cool. We're gonna, we're gonna show you now. Ooh, the door is heavy. I got these new sandals. I'm so excited. We'll take that off. I saw them at the mall the night that we went to the Cheesecake Factory and I fell in love with them, but I never heard of this brand before, so I went home and did a little bit of research. And the reviews of them are really good. They also sell them on Revolve, so went back to the mall and got them. They just looked so cute and so comfortable, and then when I tried them on, they really are so comfortable. They're all leather. And they're a bit lighter than my Birkenstock, so I actually feel like they'll be a bit more comfortable. And I liked this brown. I know we're not even going to be in summer or even close when we get back home, but I know that I'll love them this summer too. So I'm going to wear them for dinner tonight. Oh, it feels so weird wearing sandals after just walking around for two hours. Even longer than two hours. How long was that? 
It was two hours. Two yeah, hours and a bit. We got there yeah. We came back. So this is gonna be my little outfit for dinner. These cargo pants from Princess Polly. I've had them for a while. I love them. And then this one shoulder top from Dynamite, and then the shoes I just showed you guys. I'm not gonna add any more makeup or anything because <laughs> I kind of just don't care. I was feeling a touch insecure earlier, but I'm I'm over it. I don't care. <laughs> I can't get over this bathroom and this hotel. And it's so fun because we just obviously went on that walking tour, which is kind of funny. Like I just told you guys like, oh, we're going on this walking tour. And then we get with the group and it's all like a much older crowd. And then I kind of realized like, oh, I guess it's like a nerdy tourist thing to do. Like a walking tour in South Beach where like probably normally people our age would just be like drinking. But it's a very jean thing to do to book a walking tour. And it was so enjoyable. The tour guide was like amazing. And we learned so much about Art Deco and the buildings. And it was two hours of walking. And it just really makes you like open your eyes and look around and kind of know what to look for to notice all the really cool and beautiful things. So I'm really glad that we did that. It was super, super nice. And now noticing these little fixtures in the hotel, like we know a bit more where they came from, know a little more about Art Deco. I'm gonna put you guys back in this little spot. Okay, so I'm just gonna put on some little lip gloss for dinner. Um, I'm going to leave my phone here in the room because okay it's kind of like embarrassing to admit but the thing is i'm sure i'm not alone is sometimes like on the weekends or on vacation or just any any day if i get in this sort of specific mood if i'm like feeling a little bit more anxious i can tend to get really obsessed with like work related things like my emails or I guess this is more specific to like my case of making videos but like i'll get really obsessed with like checking on how my videos are performing or like if i just uploaded a video that day checking on how it's performing um checking the comments like and i'll get even a little bit paranoid about like getting mean comments or whatever especially on my q a's where like i'm a bit more open i can get in these like paranoid kind of like obsessive modes and I've been there before too, where like I'm on vacation or it's the weekend, but I'll get a I'll get a work email and I'll get kind of like obsessive about it, feeling like I need to constantly check my phone. And it really just takes you out of the moment and can ruin like a nice experience that you're having. So it was good in the walking tour, like the only times I took my phone out were to take pictures. But I think tonight for dinner, just like symbolically, I'm gonna leave my phone at home to not not like stay in the spiral, you know, and just really enjoy this nice little trip within a trip that we're having. I don't know why it feels like embarrassing to admit that, but I'm sure some of you guys have been there too. So I just thought I'd be honest. I feel like my hair has now gotten used to the humidity or like it's calmed down and I feel like it looks a little better than earlier. So we're gonna go have an amazing dinner. This is gonna be the third year in a row or the third winter in a row of us going to this little italian place and i'm so excited so i am going to leave my phone at home but maybe i'll just do a little vlog <laughs> from jean's phone and then tomorrow morning we have an f45 class to look forward to and i still need to show you guys the lobby of our hotel because it's insane but until then let's go have dinner <laughs>
Good morning, guys. I thought I would give you my little F45 review. It was my first time going. I was slightly disappointed, I have to say. I think because there's so much hype around the brand that I expected like a little bit more. I also wasn't expecting, if you guys have been to F45, I guess you would know, they have TVs like all along the wall and they're showing you the exercises on the TV. So you follow along, it's kind of like a circuit class and you go through all the different circuits. The workouts were really good. Like it was a good workout. I was sweating, I was tired. I think it's a good workout for me because it's a bit like heavier weights. It's really different from bar. So it was like a really good challenge, but I didn't like how like you're doing your workouts and you're kind of staring at a TV. I kind of felt like if I wanted to stare at a TV while I was working out, like I would just work out from home. I really prefer when the trainers are like more interactive with you. I kind of didn't, this sounds so mean, but like I didn't really see the value in the trainers and there were two, there were two trainers but it was like everything was kind of happening on the TV. The TV was doing the countdown. You could see like the time and everything, like everything was really, really on these TVs. And then you move around through the circuits. The TV tells you when to move. So it was kind of just like, okay. I feel like it's just a regular circuit class with like a little bit of add-ons for a very expensive price. So maybe I would try it again back in Montreal because again, like it was a good workout. And maybe if you buy more classes, then it's a better deal for your money. The other thing that bothered me is that it was just like a generic fitness radio. It was like kind of generic like remixes. And I really like it when it's the instructor who puts their own spin on the music. Like when we were at Barry's, we've been to Barry's twice in this trip, each instructor had like different music taste. And so it just feels like, you feel like you're getting that instructor's class and it really makes it kind of what it is. And so I just felt like this F45 was kind of missing that. But that's my review. I mean, it was still really fun. Like obviously felt so good to like wake up and we're in Miami Beach, like go for a workout. Like, yeah, I'm being critical because I'm doing like a review of it, but it was still really fun. And then we went to this really good diner, 11th Street Diner, it was all like vintage. And the food was so good. I'm really full right now. So because it's kind of spring break time, parking here is really expensive. They like jacked up the rates for spring break, I guess. So we have until I think 2.30, 2.45, we have our parking paid. So that's when we're gonna leave and drive back slightly north, back to like Hallandale, Fort Lauderdale. And until then, <laughs> I find this so funny. The hotel that we're at, cause today's Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as of noon, the hotel and the pool where I showed you guys yesterday, they do like actual pool parties. So I don't know why I'm so, I'm like a little bit nervous and I find it kind of funny because these kind of pool party things are like very out of my element, but it's like, yeah, if you wanna go use the hotel pool and chill by the pool, you've gotta be pool party ready. And so there's a dress code, you have to like dress kind of nice to go to the pool, like you can't wear, yesterday I was just wearing my like athleisure clothes or like I couldn't go dress like this. You have to wear a bathing suit, you have to wear like flip flops um and it's gonna be a pool party so i'm not gonna bring my big camera i'll try and sneak some vlogging clips with my phone and we'll see what it's like we'll see what it's like i'm hoping it's like real miami <laughs> anyways just having the best little vacation within a vacation and it's funny because it feels like it feels like when we get back from this trip that vacation's over but we still actually have four kind of three and a half four more days here which is great Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. I'm gonna get dressed and let's go to the pool party. <laughs> when I filmed these clips, the party had not even really picked up yet. Let me tell you guys when it did pick up, it was all bachelorettes, all girls. It was still a nice vibe and it was just fun to be outside. The highlight for me was running into this club promoter who now works in Miami, but I knew him in my old party days when I went to Las Vegas. <laughs> He was getting me and my friend into some of the clubs and I never thought I would see this man again in my life and poof there he was it was so funny such a small world can I do something yeah put the whole thing here so that oh good idea <laughs> okay we're on our way to I don't <laughs> It's a cafe that we don't know the name of, and we don't exactly know where it is, but I'm, I wanna say it's my favorite cafe. It's a nice place. We've only been there once. We discovered it by accident when we were just driving around here, um, and we call it the Peter Pan Cafe, and you guys will see why. 
it's really really cute it's like this hidden secret little oasis that's just so cute so I'm really excited and I wanted to take you guys along last night we went to Ball Harbor and for the first time in three years I didn't vlog I decided to break the tradition because I was like there's only so many times I can show these just like over-the-top expensive stores and I don't know I feel like something about this trip has had me like just kind of like turned off by those stores I'm just like well there's many there's many they're everywhere can't afford it <laughs> and a lot of people here can afford it and I'm like uh, you know I don't know that's just yeah how I feel this trip um I think actually I think I know what it is oh there's is that the that's the park, park? the park should lead us I think um, I think something is like when we used to come here like the first time we came here I didn't even like really have a job yep. and so looking at stuff like that and looking at expensive stuff like it felt really like aspirational and it's like oh one day like maybe next year maybe the year after and now that like I actually have some money and like let's say I wanted to like let's say I wanted to drain my savings or take from my savings like yeah I could buy a Gucci bag but it's like I just know I wouldn't do it and so it's like become less aspirational and more of like okay when am I gonna like want to make what is perhaps not like a smart decision so it's not even like aspirational anymore it's just like yeah I don't think I'm explaining myself properly but it's like yes it's aspirational but it's not as easy as you think or maybe it's not as smart of a decision as you think like if you finally got your hands on three thousand dollars are you gonna spend it on a bag yeah. that's how i feel anyway how do you feel jean well part of it is aspirational in the sense that oh wouldn't it be just like incredible to shop here yeah but and you see people going with like <laughs> bags and bags and bags of stuff there were these two girls we saw last night one of them had just this massive Louis Vuitton it was like a box bag and we're just like it must have been like a duffel bag or something but we're like what's in the box yeah. like so yeah it's but it's like I don't know I feel like certain aspirational things you want it to be like somewhat realistic and then some of these things are just like it's like it's it's like it's just next level it's just next level okay well I wanted to show you guys, I got an exciting package yesterday from my friend. I need to cover the, the thing. But my friend Ify, we're like Instagram friends, and she's just like the coolest girl ever. She started her own brand called Live Sans Raison. When I saw this package, like look at, this is like a very legitimate package. And when I saw this on the, front door we, it was there when we came back from Miami yesterday I was like oh this must be for JS's mom or something because I was expecting this sweater but I wasn't expecting her to have these like premium branded bags so I'm really proud of her I'm so excited to open this up if he's just like this cool person that like is very I find she's very like motivational she's like this cool girl you want to be friends with so I'll link her Instagram and her new brand down below and thank you so much if you for sending me this look how cute sorry <laughs> oh yeah that's nice it's nice it's super simple it says sans raison which means without reason it's really thick and beautiful I'm so excited yeah this is really nice it's really thick nice quality I can't wait to wear it thank you Ify so if we ever find the cafe I'm gonna show it to you guys and uh, I don't know what else we're gonna get up to today. Gina and I are both feeling a little bit low energy, which maybe you guys could tell through the vlog. So <laughs> let's just go to the cafe and hopefully. Reinvigorate? Yeah, that's it. I, well, we haven't really had any cat. Well, I haven't had really caffeine. You guys, I'm such a dumb bitch. I didn't even notice there was a card and I feel really rude. That's like so rude when you just rip open the bag. I just wasn't expecting it. So look, she has these little cards with a picture of her on it. And there's like a little challenge on the back. And then she put me a card in here, so I'm gonna open it. It's 
50. She's so sweet. I'm not gonna read what it says because I'm shy, but that's really sweet. Okay, we found it. It's not this one, but like this is just so cute. Yeah, there's like a little courtyard there, but we'll show you after. I just want to show you the outside of the of the place, but it's this whole little village just like hidden on the side of the road. So look, if you guys want to come, there's the big sign, the corporate sign, and then this is the coffee bar, Neverland Coffee Bar. That's what it's called, not Peter Pan. Oh my gosh, hello. He's big. We never see them that big. No, he's cute. Okay, there's a crazy lineup. We're screwed. 